You're watching the movie channel. Now check out what's happening on Showtime. I've been waiting a long time for this. Showtime Sunday night has two of the best shows on television. My hero. The new season of Dexter is being hailed as bloody great. The last thing Miami needs is another serial killer. It's mesmerizing high voltage entertainment that People Magazine raves is not to be missed. I really need to kill somebody. Michael C. Hall's brilliant performance is a towering achievement. Look at that, steady as a surgeon. Dexter is one of the best shows this decade. It's very empowering. And Brotherhood is being praised as the most entertainingly dark show since The Sopranos. Five stars. You think I'm a monster now? A must-see mob drama. Grade A. The test of you. You think I don't know that? Don't miss the finest doubleheader of drama anywhere on TV. To America. Dexter, followed by Brotherhood. Sunday, all starting at 9. Good times. My fellow citizens, and yes, yes, I've gone and done. I am one of you now. I'm proud to be American. I'm, I'm Tracy, Tracy Ullman, and I'm coming to you from the writer's room, where we're preparing to launch my new comedy series on Showtime called State of the, State State of the Union. With Showtime! It's a satirical look at the famous... Oh, you want that? Dylie Beckham. Dame Judi Dench. And Anna Hathaway. And the regular people Whoa, dude. who make up this great melting pot called America. <laughs> news. Politics. We're going to take a journey every week. Dawn to dusk. We mix it up. Sea to shining sea. The state of our union is strong. And if we laugh at ourselves, we can only make it stronger. <laughs> Tracy Ullman's State of the Union coming in 2008. Onward. Only on Showtime. want a divorce and you will get one for me a divorce i don't think the english people would ever forgive him soon he will see you for what you really are <sighs> and he will tire of you as of all the others perhaps you could imagine a way to keep his interest more prolonged you mustn't be if the lion knows his own strength <laughs> Are you really going to marry Mistress Boleyn? Why do you ask, Charles? I have it on very good authority that she and Thomas Wyatt were once lovers. I've heard those rumors. She denies it. <laughs> well, she would, wouldn't she? I said she denies it. I have His Majesty's order to banish you from court. You are to leave at once. Will you not dismiss that shameful creature Anne Boleyn from your court? I beseech you. Do not speak of her. I forbid it. Let's go. It's so hard when we are to be married, but she's still here. You can't have three people in a marriage. Why can't you see that? His Majesty commands that you be gone from this place within the month. Blessed lady. Wherever I go, I remain his wife. We are asked to admit His Majesty as Supreme Head of the Church. You're very beautiful, very desirable. I have to possess you utterly. Unfortunately, we cannot grant this to the king without abandoning our unity with Rome. Make way! Make way for the Lady Anne! Make way! You can tell your master, I will never agree to be judged by the Pope in this matter. He can do what he likes in Rome, I should do what I like here. I never thought I would live to see this day in England.
I beseech your grace to take heed, not to pursue the path you seem to be taking. The kings of Europe have power, but no morality. I must act as their conscience. So help me God. I demand to know whose subjects I am. The Pope's or mine? I want to present you as my future wife and the future Queen of England. You're watching the Movie Channel. Movies for movie lovers. This. Obviously, you're not a golfer. The Big Lebowski came out about two years after the Coen brothers became A-list big shots, thanks to the genius that is Fargo. So all the ads made sure you knew Lebowski was from the same guys. I'm the dude. His dudeness, duder, El Duderino, if you're not into the whole brevity thing. For reasons that will confound film historians for generations, audiences didn't cotton to the dude's mistaken identity severed toe adventures. At first. Donnie, you're out of your element. But over time, Lebowski became a tell your friends, test people's coolness by quoting a kind of movie. Woo! That truly earned its cult status, fan by fan. That's my room. How culty is it? Good night, sweet prince. Culty enough for websites, special events, and sold out screenings. LebowskiFest.com is just one of the sites that proves how devoted a non Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, or Rocky Horror film fan base can be. Ah, f it, dude. Let's go bold. The Big Lebowski. Tomorrow on the Movie Channel. This is Captain Video 007 on The Weatherman. Nicolas Cage stars as a local weatherman trying to keep his life from falling apart. Marine. To highlight his exceptional performance, let's look at three takes of the same scene. Here he is rushing home from a job interview because his son has been arrested. Now he's confronting his ex-wife's boyfriend. Here's an early take, check this out. He's completely over the top. Why are you here? What are you doing? Why are you here? I'm helping Noreen. Why are you helping? Dave. Next, it's take two, the reeled in version. Why are you here? What are you doing? Why are you here? I'm helping Noreen. Why are you helping? Is this one too restrained? Finally, Cage splits the difference. Here's the take used in the film. Apparently, they were going to a movie. What the f***? Why are you here? What are you doing? Why are you here? I'm helping Noreen. Why are you helping? There's a delicate balance between aggression and confusion, and in the end, Cage plays it perfectly. It's the little things like this that make this movie highly entertaining. OK, let it go. Awesome. Nicholas Cage. The Weatherman. Sunday at 8 on the Movie Channel. It's a Cameron Crowe film. No matter how low the protagonist's life gets, the soundtrack of his life is bound to be sweet. Elizabeth Town with Orlando Bloom, Kirsten Dunst, Susan Sarandon, Jessica Biel, and Alec Baldwin. Next on the Movie Channel. Movies for movie lovers. We've hit the jackpot, lads. God knows how much of this stinking weight. A load of cash and a traffic order. Jesus, have we got a traffic warden? They say crime doesn't pay, but actually it does, if you know what you're doing. Here are a few tips on how to pull off a successful heist. First, always have a plan. He's got the guns. Where do you get them? Why me? You're supposed to be the odd case. You go and get the guns, I drive the car! If you're planning an armed robbery, make sure you're armed. What that? Don't forget to wear a disguise. You're gonna put your stocking on or what? I just spent 120 quid on me, eh? In case of gunfire, keep your head down. And if you're going to double-cross someone, make sure they don't double-cross you first. <coughs> to learn more tricks of the trade, check out the movie that made Guy Ritchie famous before he became Mr. Madonna. Lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. This month on the Movie Channel.
There are two phenomenal reasons to see Into the Blue. You know what they are. The cinematography and the underwater fight scenes. What did you think we were talking about? Shut up, you coke whore. Sam. Paul Walker, Scott Kahn, Josh Brolin, and Ashley Scott and Jessica Alba, if you're into that sort of thing. You're such an ass. She talked to me. I, uh, Into the Blue. This month on the Movie Channel. Ooh. My second favorite is part four, and my third favorite is part six, and my fourth favorite is part five, and my fifth favorite is part three. Never saw it in 3D though. And my sixth favorite is part eight, and my seventh favorite is part two, and my eighth favorite is part seven. That's how I would rank the Friday the 13th movies. Unless you consider Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X, and Freddy vs. Jason to be official Friday the 13th movies, I don't. But if you do, then my first favorite would still be part one, naturally, and my second favorite would be a tie between part four and Jason Goes to Hell. Try anything and you are dead! Some movies defy description. Any food of fiber, your fabric. Defy expectations. And sometimes even defy the critics. Trust me. No bloody way. We call them the good stuff, and we save those movies for last. What is this sucking and chucking rocks? What is this sh This is the good stuff. Late night weeknights on the movie channel. This month on the good stuff, it's the international house of movie stars. Movie stars from all over the world. Mind your language in front of the boys. Get into the good stuff. Late night weeknights all month long. Only on the movie channel. Drew Baylor is not having a good day. He's lost his job. We are about to lose $972 million. He's lost his dad. He's lost his girlfriend. And his overall desire to live. But just as he's about to take the plunge, Fate steps in and throws him on a red eye to Elizabethtown, Kentucky. For those of you who don't know where that is, it's right near Louisville. 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 Like any good romantic dramedy, Elizabeth Town will make you laugh, <laughs> cry, <laughs> and fall in love. You are always trying to break up with me, and we're not even together. Wait. And since this is a Cameron Crowe film, you can expect an A-list cast and a kick-ass soundtrack. Oh, Among other things. Elizabeth Town. Next on the Movie Channel.